Hey, um, it's June the 30th, 2017, and today in this short video, I wanted to address a lot of people's concerns out there. There's a lot of very well-meaning people, and I know some of them, who are um, very concerned about, I guess, the mental well-being of Donald Trump, who is the president of America. Right. A lot of people, they have serious concerns over whether or not Donald Trump has a personality disorder to include such things as narcissism and, and whatever, whatever other psychiatric terms that people can come up with. And I'm sure a lot of them are legitimate or I mean, they're legitimately concerned. Uh, I'll, I'll give them that, you know what I'm saying? You, you have the right, it, you, you definitely, even if it's unsubstantiated, you do have the right to be concerned if you feel like our president has a, uh, what you would call a personality disorder, right? Me personally, I support your efforts, all right? You know, like I, you know, just, uh, I have nothing against people who, who are feeling this way by all means. Uh, if you have legitimate concerns, I don't mind hearing them and stuff. I, in fact, I, I like to hear them. I want to hear them. All right. Uh, that all being stated, here's, here's what becomes a concern for me. And it's what I wanted to express is let's say, okay, you're right. Let's say there's all these therapists out there who are also right. And they've seen telltale signs of this, um, personality disorder this narcissism coming out of Donald Trump all right let's say you're all correct all right let's imagine if you will you y'all are all y'all are right on the money um, my concern then would be well if you have time and you have the capabilities and all the resources to to figure this out being that y'all are in this field of therapy and stuff like that if you do have the time and the capabilities and the wherewithal to recognize that Donald Trump showing signs of a personality disorder. What, what, what comes across my mind is this. Do you not have time for the rest of the politicians that I'm seeing out here? I mean, because the thing is, I appreciate your efforts. If you want to show me some stuff and, and, and uh, lend some information to me as far as Donald Trump and his personality disorder, then I, I would absolutely hope that you also have the time to cover all these other politicians that I see out here who absolutely are over the top with personality disorders. And I'm not a expert, like I'm not a professional therapist and stuff. I didn't go to psychiatric school, but it doesn't take a genius. It does not take a genius to start recognizing personality disorders all over the damn place in Washington, D.C., right? So although I'll, I'll uh, concede to you that, you know, uh, the president is possible that he has personality disorder, what about everybody else? And, the, and when we're talking about people who've been in office for well longer than Donald Trump, right? So when I start hearing about, oh, well, we should be very concerned about Dude's personality disorder. How come we weren't concerned earlier? How come, like, that's the question that comes to mind. Maybe a lot of y'all were. Maybe y'all have backgrounds and histories, and I just need to go to your website in which you would call out Barack Obama for having personality disorder. All right, because that's what I noticed, and I'll give you all sort of proof and evidence, and it's all over the internet. That's number one. But see, Barack Obama. I'll even give it to him that he, he's very low key. Like he's hard to prove that he has a personality disorder. Like people like me would come to suspect that he does, but he plays it so cool. And I give him that he does play it very cool. It's very hard to prove that he has a personality disorder. Right. But all right, let's think about this. I know y'all been seeing Maxine Waters a lot in the news recently. Right. All right. So how are you going to tell me? I, I, here, here, I'm going to ask you politely, does Maxine Waters have a personality disorder? Was Maxine Waters in office well before Donald Trump? Those are two questions I, I would sincerely like you to go ahead and try and answer it for me. 
All right. That's one person. Um, you might have seen recently where she said 700 billion. I mean, that went viral. The things she says are so absurd that they go viral. Like, dude, it's amazing. I, I was saying that clip that just went viral talking about her talking about 700 billion. First of all, it, it's kind of who knows where she got this number. Right. Because it's not even really clear if she's talking about Americans or she's talking about dollars or what the hell she's talking about when she's rambling on to that one gay fella on the TV. When she's rambling on about <clears throat> 700 billion, it's not even clear what she's talking about. But regardless, where does the number 700 billion come from? Where does it even come from? What is it describing? Of course, not describing humans, because that would be the Earth's population times 10. So she, she must be talking about dollars. And even so, where is this numbers coming from? Uh, this, what I want to point out is if you just look at this very short one minute clip of her making a damn fool out of herself, you're going to see a person rife with personality disorder. Thing is, what I got to explain to you, uh, just like that governor from Virginia when he said some bullshit that was stupid, uh, just like Hillary when, when she says all sorts of stuff that's stupid. Uh, Chucky Schumer and the list goes on and on. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, who's absolutely senile, and it's bipartisan, by the way. A uh, John McCain, who honestly needs to be put in a nursing home, dude, for his own safety. All right, uh, the list goes on and on and on. But when they say these absurd things, what I have to tell you is, they're they know that they're lying to you, and they're not even like they're not actually thinking while they're talking to you. All they're thinking about is their hatred for the for you and the opposition and people asking them questions. That's all they're thinking about. So these words spill out of their mouth because they're not thinking when they're talking to you. I would describe that as a personality disorder. This person you, that who you're talking to is not even thinking about what you're saying. Right, they have an agenda. That's they want to say it, and, and absurdity spill out of their mouth, such as seven hundred billion. And what's funny, what's most funniest about it, the whole thing is, she says seven hundred billion, and everybody's like, "What? What the fuck? What's she talking about? Uh, seven hundred billion?" And before the minute is up, she will even say, "But I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about." It's like, yeah, it's very clear you don't know what you're talking about. It's very clear that something's going on where you're not thinking about what you're saying at all you seem to have a personality disorder and just to get a little bit a little bit further when it comes when it comes to maxine waters i want you to look at her face dude i want you to google it right now maxine waters google image the face the face that you're going to come up with most often than not is a frowny it's like a disturbing I mean, I, I don't want to get too shallow about it, but her face is disturbing when it comes to her mouth. The way that it's constantly frowning, it's, it's very, I mean, the only reason I bring it up is because it's a perfect window into her soul. It's very ugly and disturbing, and it really is a tale. It's a telltale sign of what's going on in her soul. She has a very uh, a concerning personality disorder and it shows in her face and before we get out of here i just want to let you know that that's actually god that's doing that and that's what's so funny god does have a sense of humor a lot of the time uh because if you ever seen that one uh movie with jim carrey do you remember bruce almighty Remember Bruce Almighty when, when like God basically has him saying all sort of absurdities and making him look like an ass of himself in that movie. Do you remember that? That's exactly what he's doing with all these politicians. That's exactly what he's doing. He's making look. He's making them look so retarded. They can't control what's coming out of their own mouths. They have personality disorders. It's very ugly what's inside their soul. Sometimes you can see it in their face, such as Maxine Waters. It's very ugly in there. All right, but the list goes on and on and on of these people who are doing the same exact thing, showing the same exact uh, personality disorders that a Maxine Waters does. Like I said, I mean, it's bipartisan. You talk about Nancy Pelosi. You, you're talking about that. Uh, uh, I forget his name because I hate him so much. <laughs> the, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. Right? I mean, you're going to tell me Paul Ryan doesn't have a personality disorder. So you're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me that John Boner did not have and still does not have a personality disorder? Of course he does. All right. So if it is very important, and I'll, I'll concede to you, it is very important. 
to recognize whether or not the president has a personality disorder. Might want to take note of the fact is everybody up in Washington, D.C. is tripping balls right now. All right. And a lot of them swing a very big stick, such as uh, Maxine Waters. All right. They, they, they wield a lot of power and they've been doing so well before Donald Trump got in office. So is it a serious problem? Are these personality disorders a serious problem? Because if they are, I would like to see a whole mess of therapists come together, create a website where you just have a list. You just have a list of all these politicians and all their extremely obvious and apparent personality disorders. And I would actually very much appreciate that. In fact, I'll probably give you some money because I like that idea. I, I want you to do it. If you feel like the personality disorders are a big problem, I'm right there with you. But I wonder if I'm going to see a list of all these politicians with absolute just total senility, just total denial of reality, just total like abandonment of their own constituency, just like absurd, uh, just absent of logic type scenarios that are coming out. I hope that I see a website that pertains to all sort of things to include Donald Trump. I hope I do. I don't think I will. Uh, it's June the 30th, y'all. 2017, and, and before I get out of here, holler at um, um, my girl, uh, Gail, all right? I'm right there with you, like I said. I think it's very important. Gail, I appreciate you out there, and I'm right there with you. I hope we see that website. I don't think we're going to. It's June the 30th, 2017.